That's right, Bingo. You're on the show. Hi, guys. This is Bingo. And my name is Meg. And today, we're going to be talking about the sun, the moon, and the earth. Which means we'll also talk about day and night, seasons, and eclipses, and also lots of other interesting stuff. Let's start with building a model of the sun, earth, and moon. Here, I've cut out a shape of earth and the moon. Hey, that's so small. Yeah, because it's just a picture. By the way, guys, did you know that the moon's diameter is just one quarter of the Earth? Can we make the model of the sun the real size of the sun? Mioni, that is going to be impossible because the sun's diameter is around 100 times the size of Earth. And you can actually fit around 1 million Earths inside the sun. Whoa! But I have an idea. Let's make the sun just a little bit bigger than the Earth. How far shall we place them? Well, the distance between the Earth and the Moon is about 10 times the circumference of Earth. So maybe about 8 feet. And what about the sun? Well, the distance between the Earth and the sun is about 400 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. So maybe around a few thousand feet. Okay, give it to me. Is it a few thousand feet yet? No. A few thousand feet yet? No. Yet? Is it a few thousand feet yet? No. Is it? I think it's a few thousand feet now. Okay guys, here's our model. This is the sun, this is the earth, and this is the moon. The earth goes around the sun, and it spins on its axis. And as for the moon, it goes around the earth, and it spins on its own axis. Guys, I have an idea. If you want to act this out, why don't you get three friends? One can stand in the center and act as the sun. The other one can be the earth and can go around the sun while spinning. The third friend can be the moon and she can go around the earth while spinning. And you'll soon find out it's quite a dizzying experience. All this going around and spinning gives you lots of interesting things like day and night, seasons, eclipses. Hey, what do you mean? What do you mean? For that, we need a 3D model. Okay, guys, here's a 3D model. This is the sun, this is the earth, and this is the moon. The earth spins on its axis while it goes around the sun at the same time. As the earth rotates, the part that faces the sun gets a daylight, making it day. And the other part is night. The earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. And that's why a day is, you guessed it, 24 hours long. The moon goes around the earth. When the moon comes between the earth and the sun, the sun gets blocked out. This makes a solar eclipse. When the earth comes between the moon and the sun, it's called a lunar eclipse. That's when we can't see the moon. Hey guys, I got a different moon to talk about the phases of the moon. When the moon is in this position, we can see the full moon. As it starts going to its side, we see less and less of the moon. This is called a waning moon. When it's right in front of the earth, we don't see any moon. When it starts going around the other side of the earth again, we can see more and more of the moon. This is called a waxing moon. Then it comes back to its same position and we see a full moon again. Hey, but we didn't talk about the seasons. Right you are, Mioni. There are four seasons. Spring, summer, autumn and winter. I know that. But how do we get seasons? Let's take a look at our model once again. Because the earth is tilted, right now the southern hemisphere is getting summer. As the earth moves, now the northern hemisphere is getting summer. Again, the Earth comes back to its original place and now again the southern hemisphere has the summer. And that's how you get seasons. Here in the globe guys, you can see how the Earth is tilted. Fun fact! Do you know how the Earth got tilted? A long time ago, when Earth was young, something big hit it, making it tilt. So, instead of going straight on its axis, it kinda tilts. That big thing is called Thea. This punched a hole in the Earth's surface making a huge amount of dust and rubble go out. Most scientists say that over a period of time, this rubble became our moon. Hey, are there other planets who have moons? Sure, Mioni. Let's talk about the moons of Jupiter. Jupiter has 79 moons 
and the four biggest moons are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Mm, the ones. Alessia, Etni, Amalfia, Ankenke, Adoi, Arke, Antonio, Calirho, Carne, Carpo, Sande, Cycle. Hope you liked our video about the sun, moon, and earth. See you for our next video, guys. Bye.